morning. I'm wearing my red again for Pentecost, preparing to celebrate Pentecost Sunday uh, this Sunday. I just love Pentecost. I love the celebration. It's one of those holidays that the world hasn't really found yet, and so Hallmark or whoever hasn't ruined it yet. Uh, and I just love the celebration of Pentecost and the coming of the Holy Spirit one of the things that our denomination does is takes up an offering at Pentecost, the Stott Wallace offering, and it's an offering for global missions. What a wonderful way to celebrate the day that people heard the gospel in their own language and understood in their own language in a miraculous, supernatural way. What a wonderful way to celebrate that by giving an offering to take the gospel to people all over the world. Two of our missionaries are David and Sarah and they live in Cambodia and and work there in Cambodia and they have a wonderful connection to our presbytery. They initially went to Cambodia as missionaries from our presbytery not from the wider denomination and then since that time have have come underneath the umbrella of the wider denomination. So they really are ours. And so I want you to hear a message that they recorded for us uh, for this particular time. David and Sarah, we are missionaries serving in Cambodia. We had finished the Samaki Church building construction, and most recently, we have completed the construction of a mission center building. Thanks to Sipin Church's support and prayer, we are planning to open the Cambodian. Cumberland Vision School at the beginning of May this year if the COVID-19 epidemic situation is better. We are so thankful for Scott Wallace missionary offering. Thank you very much for your supporting and love. We pray for God's protection from COVID-19 to our city church families worldwide. Thank you. Thank you. We love you, Cumberland family. Now, in a time of economic uncertainty, and all of us at one in one way or another are facing economic uncertainty, we might say we can't be giving to people far over on the other side of the world. We have to worry about taking care of our own and that kind of thing. But that isn't the spirit that we are taught to have in Scripture. I love it when Paul writes to the Corinthians in his second letter, he tells them that when he was in Macedonia, which is northern Greece, uh, that they were giving to the offering he was collecting to take care of the poor in Jerusalem. And even though they were very poor in Macedonia, not only did they give, but they gave generously and they thanked him for the opportunity to give. It's this wonderful story. And Paul is telling that story to the Corinthians because Paul wasn't above a little bit of manipulation uh, to get what he wanted. He was trying to convince the Corinthians to give. And yet what he was really trying to teach them was, even in times of economic uncertainty, if we are generous, that actually releases us. That releases the anxiety that we have because we recognize that God is going to provide and we trust that God will provide. And part of the way we do that is to put our money where our mouth is and we offer an offering. In many ways, this isn't the time for our church or any church to take up an offering uh, for somebody else. Uh, we're not really meeting all of our obligations yet. We're going to have to use some of our savings most likely this summer. One of the decisions we made as a church was to open our pool as a gift to the community. And we are probably going to lose money on that venture. We know that going in. And yet this is the time for us as a church to be generous. And this is the time for all of us as church members to be generous. So if you are a member of First Cumberland, I want to invite you to give to the church, but also to give to the Stott Wallace Fund. And if you are not a member of First Cumberland, I want to invite you to find ways to give to your own church, but also to other charities or other missions around the world as a way of celebrating Pentecost, as a way of celebrating that God is always with us. Amen. <laughs>